You ready to go, Mom? No, I got two hours overtime. I told him I needed it. Here. My check. You're not going out tonight, are you, Danny? No. I'm working on design. You're gonna get arrested again. I told you, it's dangerous. I wonder how hot that steam is. It's not dangerous. I'm making me steam them. Huh? Look, I go down on those tracks and I'm special. You call me the king. I earned that. Feels good. See you later. Mother's working two hours overtime tonight. A person who's able to draw that coat ought to be getting dollars for it. Oh, yeah? I'll be paying off a washing machine, you know? Washing machine? I'll be getting a wife and kids. Like a wife named, um, Teresa. Read me the instructions, huh? Teresa. <sighs> the tail should be in proportion to its broadest point. Just like yours, Hunty. <laughs> you want to get hit? You want to get hit really hard? Well, you're going to have to catch me first. Well, I am going to catch oh, you. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on. Come on. It doesn't always have to be a joke, Danny. Because it's not a joke. If you're gonna be getting out of school soon, we've gotta make some plans. What are we gonna do? How are we gonna get out of here? Who gets out? We do. At least I do. I've been in foster homes since I can remember. Now I want a place of my own. A life of my own. Why don't you grow up, T? Well, look where you are. I know where I am. I'm gonna be getting far away from here, and I'm not gonna wait forever to do it. I'm not.
morning, Max. Hey, Kirk, what's going down? Lux is going down. Be lifting off, son. You're talking about a ten dime dropping out of my usual territory. Well, just so long you understand, Kirk don't fly a spaceship into unknown galaxies, you know what I mean? Pull over. That's cool, then. You know and I know. I'll be there with the girl. I'm gonna use the lady for this one. Ciao. man, he was walking along. He was showing himself, showing his dollars. My dollars? Well, I didn't know that, man. He don't carry his dollars. He carried Kirk's dollars, and that's what he took, Cooper. Well, I didn't know. I, I didn't know he dropped for you, man. So what do you have, 162? You be telling me you gonna miss that? Yeah, I tell you, man. Huh? You be telling me? You be talking up into my face. Hey, stop running over there. Hey, what I got, I keep. If I let somebody take a nickel or a penny, then pretty soon they're gonna be taking my limousine or my hat. You wanna be taking my hat? Huh? You want to be taking my hat? Hey, come here. No different deals. They're nowhere. The more you got, the more they take away. And a man protects himself. Kirk protects himself. Let's book it, Captain. You, you're crazy. Let's go, man. I think I'll conduct myself on an interview. Pardon, young lady, but I uh, could not help but notice that you could use a re-energized, not to say new dress. It'd be my honor to buy such a dress. Get lost. You perhaps insulted that I mentioned your wardrobe? I'm no whore. <laughs> I see. You think I'm a pimp. May I ask what you're reading? Huckleberry Finn. Afraid I haven't read any man's books. That's the title, you lame. <laughs> of course you will realize that I haven't had your education. Yet I guess I've still managed in my ignorance. Can I take you for a short drive? No. I just want to talk to you about earning money and not having to hurt no one. Now how much money am I talking about? Oh, I'm filled with suspense. Thousands. Many thousands. Now you're a bright girl with bold clothes. That's gotta be interesting to you. You think I'm dressing threads like these if I handle girls? That's 42nd Street, sweet lady. Then what do you handle? <laughs> Only what I can get away with. You're in the 16, aren't you, girl? Yeah. So what? 
You're only 16 and you got plans, don't you? Bright girl with plans. Where are they? Over some rainbow on my not right. Come on, take a drive with me. Nothing's gonna happen to you. Except you're gonna hear about money. You know what money is, don't you? Money is the future. Money is respect. Money is love. And money makes plans happen. Come on. Let's take a short drive. You like a drink or something to smoke? No. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Kirk, captain of this ship. In it I sail all the galaxies of the city. <laughs> That's ridiculous. So tell me, how can I earn all this money? Well, that's easy. When do you turn 16, pretty lady? In April. April 10th. Ah, well, Aries, huh? You Aries do real well in this line of work. Ever been arrested? No. I didn't think so. I saw you sitting there reading all this. What line of work? Now you thinking I pushed up for little kids. Dope. Entertainment. Something for rich folks to do that ain't got anything better to do with their time than to stuff something up their nose. No, let me tell Now listen, girl. This isn't for kids. Some fine money for you here. We sell a kind of cocktail for grown-ups who like cocktails. What do you care about that? You clean, under 16, or get tried as an adult. Worst can happen to is you get your hands slapped. You got six months, pretty eyes. I mean about 50,000 or thereabouts. Fifty thousand? Then you retire. I got a birthday in just a couple of days. Then I got a hard retirement ahead of me. <laughs> a hard, hard retirement. You're not an idiot, girl. You no fool. Sell the rich folks what they want. Permit me to, uh, re-energize your dress. Take us to a store. What are you gonna do? Give me a hard time? No. Why should I care? You care. Don't act with me. Well, talk to me. Since you're here, say something. Nice dress. That's right. It's a good dress. He's garbage. What do you know about it? Look, I know enough. I thought you had more brains. Oh, I got brains, Danny. I want to get far away from here, and that's a fact. You don't. Another fact. See how smart I am? It's going to get all over you. What are you worried about, Danny? That it's against the law? But what are you? King 65? The king of the line. Most famous dude burning trains in this city. There's a difference. Sure there is.
I ain't no toy. You ever seen the tag, King 65? Yeah, I've seen it. So what? Is that your tag? Look, that's all I gotta say to you. I'm the king of the line, that's what I am. Oh, my. Feel those goosebumps rising up and down my arms. Well, King, you sure picked the wrong tunnel tonight. This platform's had two rapes this week. But if I was counting on catching that creep, I thought for a minute you were my man. Till I heard all that spread, and then I knew I just had me another damn pest. Pest? I'm an artist. All right, you're an artist. Ask any one of the other writers. He's asking who's the best. You're an artist. Every couple of weeks they strip these cars down to the buff. Then your so-called works of art go down in an acid bath. Well, they don't know. I've had some cars on the line for months. You call yourself an artist. Look, all you do is paint over these windows so that some cop like me can't see some poor dude get his head bashed in. Or some lady getting hassled. All right. On your feet. Soon in position. What's your name, King? Danny Baker. Am I going in? Well, I got more important things to do. But look. I know your face now, so you'd be making a big mistake to hit this line again. Now, what do we got here? It's my sketch. Don't tear it up, huh? If you saw that up on another car, would you know it was mine? Yeah, I might. It's got a style. You got real talent, Danny. It's a shame you wasted. I mean, most people see there's just so much trouble in their lives, you know what I mean? They hate it. They hate what you do. They only like it when it's been washed off. Let's see how good you really are. All those few. How do you kids keep from being asphyxiated? You ought to be in art school. Art school? Now, you know what that is. Here's how you do an arm. This is the way a tree's supposed to be done. It's just more law. You know what I mean. Nah, this is pure. I mean, this is just the way I want to do it. And then there's no rule, right? I mean, that's the point. The whole point's for it to be lawless. Could do, Danny. Last time I saw him, he's running away from home. Well, you know what I could do, you know? Trespassing, defacing public property. But listen, you keep drawing. 
Let me see some of your stuff. All right? Look. This time, hey, keep it off the wall. Because if I catch you again, I'll haul you in righteously. It's cool. Maybe I'll draw you a picture. Thanks. You do that. I'm easy to find. I'm all over the place. Just like graffiti. <laughs> Gentlemen expecting you to be so. Be in that lobby across the street. He'll have an ivory necklace and he'll be a white man. Are you nervous? Yeah. Put your head at rest, young lady. After all, you're just a child. They don't apply the adult law to you, Teresa. Not for six months. Here to deliver something? Yeah. Well, give it to me. Thank you. Forgetting what children I'm doing. Well now, Mr. Gavin, your bank account don't forget that fact. Kirk, I need to talk business. This is a get acquainted meeting with this new friend of yours. That job you did for me yesterday wasn't hard, was it? Teresa. Beautiful man. Italiano? You know, I lost my folks when I was a baby, but the best I believe the figures I'm Puerto Rican and some kind of European. I myself in northern, north everywhere. <laughs> you got a birthday coming up, Kirk. September 25, I could think. Just over a week. I am very tired and looking for other work. Oh, there's always work for a man with responsibility. the girl should do well. Captain Kirk goes for up. <laughs> Mr. Gavin, I don't want to get nervous about my birthday, you know what I mean? Uh, we all know the rules, Kirk. Get caught dealing after you're 16, there's no escape. You pull hard time. Right. So? So? Don't turn 16. Stay young forever, like me. Kirk! 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 Look! I was asleep. I was just taking a nap. What are you talking about? Captain, you ain't gonna believe this. Come on, man. I just closed my eyes, that's all. I didn't like it, but I did it. I'm in it now, Danny, and you can't change that. Do what you want to, T. So will I. He's just having it repainted, that's all. He's having it repainted today. I mean, what does he care? He's got a lot of money. Sure. So he buys things. He's buying you. Look, he's buying you, Teresa. 
All I've heard from you are bright ideas and plans. And then when someone sticks some money in you, knows you gave up. You gave up easy. No, not easy. I've asked you a long time to work with me. How to get out of here, what to do. But you never care. You don't need me. So don't play it big with me now, Danny. You stay out of it. Good afternoon. Afternoon, officer. You know, there was a man in that building over there, had a big beard, had lots of rings on his fingers. I didn't like the way he looked. So I had a squad car run him in. Oh, yeah? I've seen you around before. You to do keeping all the streets safe and sound. Well, someday they'll give you a gold watch for it. Hey, you have a warrant for searching up? Probable cause? No way. Hope this isn't what I think it is. Just turned in my gold watch. Okay, come on, let's go. Hey, man, wasting my time, you know that? This dude's more scared than I'm supposed to be. I think I should represent him, officer. I have to inform you that under the... Lieutenant Stedman, Lieutenant Stedman, this is a very anxious attorney. How do you do? I have to inform you that under the laws... Who knew it, this? Your firm sure sent you to the wrong part of town, man. Under the laws, minors are... Yes, I know, they're both under 16. And furthermore... Yes, I know, there was no transaction. Possession by a juvenile of a small amount of cannabis... Man, they sent down a real turkey, didn't they? Where's my regular lawyer, turkey? It's a real bad trip, isn't it, Charlie? I mean, a man puts in six years in law school, he ends up in the garbage cans in New York, bailing out little kids. Hey, who's your client? Albert Gavin. I bet you had other plans, didn't you, counsel? Officer, you know the DA won't file. Furthermore, Mr. Kirk was clean. So take it. No, him. Not her. Oh, what are you, crazy man? Hey, she's coming with Her us. case isn't so easy now, is it? Oh, no, possession's not easy at all. Is it? Uh, no. Mm -hmm. So, get him out of here. Hey, just hold on, man. She's coming with us, man. Hey, I'm getting my regular lawyer. I'm getting him and coming back, dude. Say, finish these for me, will you, dude? I'm gonna get to a little tour of the resort. Yeah. Hey, Charlie. do this. I'm under 16. I'll tell you what I can do, girl. I can hold you here for 24 hours. And I can make it very unpleasant. Nothing like a jail cell, is there? Everybody thinks they got it all worked out in their heads. When they get behind these bars, they realize they haven't got anything worked out at all. Doesn't make any sense. You were clean? Never been arrested? Yeah. I've been a very good little girl. You were. Possession of drugs by a juvenile is a tough rap. And don't you kid yourself about that. What kind of grades do you get? Pretty good, I'll bet, huh? When I want them, I get them. Then why? Explain it to me. Look, what I am is case number F2121-L on the city of New York's books with a foster family that never has less than five kids floating around in it. So I get good grades. So I never got arrested. Well, so what? Lisa. Are you all right? Well, it's the king. Word sure travels fast on these streets. What is this, Banks? What are you going to do with her? Why don't the three of us talk about that, huh? Come on in here. Give me a couple of minutes to sign out while you two chat. You two can help me, and teamwork is always the best way. You know that. Gavin sure knows. I mean, he and Kirk make a great team. Look at the bundle they pull in. They don't run any risks. Teresa's the only one that runs any risks. Well, thanks. You want to bust Gavin, but there's nothing we can do to help you. Well, sure there is. It's a little matter of teamwork. That's all. You know that. I mean, all you subway artists got your little club, your little groups, your little cliques. Yeah, and you I let alone Danny of them. I work alone. Look, Danny, let me put it to you like this. You already owe me one favor. I'm ready to make it two. 
Teresa's already working with Gavin. I mean, I can use that now. Just call it my own creativity, all right? What's the matter, Boopsy? You think you're the only street artist around here? Oh. How's your drawings coming, anyway? Oh, I see. Yes, he's wearing his little dainty doctor's gloves. Really cute. But where's my drawing? Come on, you promised me a painting, didn't you? Let's go down to the tracks. I'll pick one out for you. Uh-uh. No, you promised me a painting. I don't want to see that horrible garbage. I mean, you really think that a punk with a spray can is ever anything but a punk with a spray can? Hey, Danny is an artist. An artist? So where's my painting? He's still just a punk with a spray can. You want That's a painting? Okay. How about an old grandma on a rocking chair? Maybe a, a baby with a pair of wings or something, huh? That's painting for you, right? Yeah, right. Boring. When was the last time you opened your eyes and saw what real artists were up to? You want to see some art? I'll show you some art. Come on. Let's catch a train. I got the time. But come on. Where to? Across the river. To the land of surprises. Are you scared to even look? Let's go. Very good. That's on me, King. Just have a look at it. Now, I'll see you later. That's what I thought. These paintings hang in the middle of Manhattan. So do mine. <laughs> yeah, but a lot of these people get paid for what they do, Daddy. How about you? You get paid for trash and trains. How about it, Daddy? You don't have to get paid for what you do. I may know someone who can help. I'll be in touch, Teresa. Look, I need good teamwork. And you need a chance. I'll be in touch. <laughs> Six by now. Lives with his mom. Stop. 
stupid. Anyone 26 is still writing on the walls, just stupid. Hey, T. You ever been there before? The museum? Nah, Manhattan. You ever been there before? No, <laughs> never. Me neither. It's a weird, huh? The land of surprises. Danny, it's nothing. It's the way we are. It's not your problem, honey. Please. No, no, Danny, no. it's not your problem. Leave my mother alone, you stinking garbage. Shut up. You're a lady and me will take care of our problems in our own way. Why don't you go find a train car? You're so tough. Maybe there's something else you want to do. Maybe there's something else you think you can do. Look, the dude's got a right to kill. I don't want to hear it anymore. I need to fix up that. Shut up! I don't need this, man. Oh, my mother's heart! You throwing things for me. So we move! Next time to move, right? All right, all right, all right. All right. Mr. Gavin, are you this fine morning, sir? I'd like for you and me to take a little walk. Must be something I could do for you. What happened yesterday with you and a girl? Just a house of nothing big. A nigga cop just done me, man. I don't know why. You know who he was, Captain? His name is Banks. Oh, yeah, I've seen his face around his before. His name is Banks. You know his face. You're going to be 16 in a couple of days. So you got two choices. You can uh, walk away from it all, your own territory, the girls. I want to. You can deal with men like Banks. You're good enough. Are you tough enough to be of use when you're no longer a juvenile? You gonna grow up, Kirk? Be a man?
Okay, okay what's the word? The word, the word's interesting. Mm -hmm. I walk along with you, okay? You're so struck by view. Man in my position needs his view, you know. Hey, look, uh, you said maybe I could get paid for drawing. Uh, I'm interested. We'll talk about it. What are you on, Daddy? You just smoking angel dust? No, oh, man, I don't use dope. That's for losers. You wrote something tonight, right? Must be a thing of beauty, a real burner, okay? Mm -hmm. Man, it was perfect. It was so good, I had a whole gang of toys sit on top of a car watching the drives popped out. And now you're high on it, right? You're up and you want to talk about a distinguished career? Step into my office here. I'm Charlie, you're early tonight. Tonight I'm being a talent agent. Well, I'm off my schedule. Sit down, Daddy. What do you have, coffee? No, I'll take a strawberry milkshake. <laughs> Where do you think you are, Scarsdale? Well, have coffee and a strawberry shake, Ken. So what's the offer, thanks? Well, the conditions. Oh, yeah, I know. I gotta help you squash the toad. No problem. My pleasure. There's one other. There'll be no more burning, no more writing on public walls, any place. All right, tell me, Banks. Comic books. You do know what they are, right? Well, I have this friend owes me favors. I've always found that favors are better than money in the pocket. So who is he? An executive. Works for the firm that puts out what they like to call uh, illustrated publications. I even told him about you, and you know he'd never heard of King 65. Right, so what's the arrangement? There is none. The only guarantee is the interview. But our deal still stands. As of now, there'll be no more burning, no more trash in the train. Now, is it a deal? That's the man to call. Dale Sherman. Do it, Danny. Be nice to yourself. And do it for Teresa, too. You don't know what it's like. Not to marry the one that you love. It's a mistake. Level Banks. I mean, do you think anyone's really going to care what I write? Or how? I don't know. The only guarantee is the interview. The world's full of chances, Daddy. Take one. Listen, you learn how to make coffee. I'll be back, Daddy. Hey, thanks! Okay, bring them in. Uh, you look right through here, Danny. That's him. The one with the busted up face. We got to have the fun. Yeah, well, we've had little Obi in a lineup before, and it's a bad news kid. We never could hold them. Nice job, officer. <laughs> nice job. We couldn't try him as an adult, because he's only 13. So we said, hey, put him over on hold over a family court. What'd they do? They'd lost him. 
His file was lost in the shuffle. The mother just walked out. Yeah, then he kills Charlie Banks. Yeah. Now, you saw the shooting, right? Look, he did it. I saw it from the diner. Charlie was the kid in the diner. Did you see the shooting? Look, he did it. I grabbed him. I saw him there. the shooting? Are you an eyewitness or aren't you? Look, he wasn't found with a weapon. If you're not an eyewitness, I got nothing. Yesterday, God, I was so worried after I heard about what happened. And what's this? I promised Banks I'd go see this guy. About drawing? Yeah. It won't mean anything, but I gotta go. It does mean something, Danny. It does. I gotta do this, and then I gotta do something else. What? Danny, don't do anything stupid. I gotta get Kirk. There's no future. Not till I've settled that. Danny, let go. You can't change things. I can't walk away from this, T. Banks cared. And he did something about it. How often does that ever happen? Will you help me, Teresa? Help me out.
It's okay, Banks. It's a little shot to give me for the day. Happened to meet Charlie, and how is he? He's dead. Dead? That's why I'm here. Dead? Yeah. Kid killed him. Kid? How old? Fourteen. Fourteen years old. Charlie Banks cared about what he did. I can't tell you how sorry I am to hear this. Well, all right, let's talk about what Charlie wanted us to talk about. What is it that you want? Well, you see, this is the first time I ever really thought about anything like permanent, you know? You want to be a commercial artist, huh? Something you really want to do with a career? Sure. How old are you, Danny? Seventeen. Seventeen. Still in school? Yeah. That's useless. I want to draw. I really do. This is graffiti. This is just graffiti. But it's what I do. Banks thought that, well, he, he said that maybe you might be... All right. All right. Just, just take it easy. I'll tell you what. Uh, I want to uh, show this to some other people who work here. Just take it easy. You just, uh, you just sit tight, all right? Agnes, any you take Hello, Danny. Hi. Why don't we all sit down? Huh? Danny, do you think you'd like to apprentice? Agnes thinks you might do well in her department. Apprentice? Uh, does that mean, like, try out or something? No. Apprentice means you're hired, but at less pay than you'll be getting if the job works out. Job? Drawing? That's right. Danny, it's not that you just have talent. For someone with no formal training, you have remarkable technique, too. Charlie would be very pleased. Yeah, 
They said I was good. Oh, but they said I gotta learn. And there's all kind of other things I, I, I gotta learn, but they said it wouldn't be like a, a miracle enough for me to learn it, you know? Yeah. Oh, T. Everything's buzzing inside me. Listen. I want us to do everything right, okay? Yeah. Yeah, thanks. Um, look, at your place, okay? Listen, I'll, I'll see you, T. September 25th, 1965. Now, you sure? I want his birthday. I don't want any other date. Yeah. Kirk was born September 25th, 1965. It's, uh, it's a Monday. It's three days. What's the big deal? What are you going to throw him? A birthday party? Yeah, something like that. Hey, Danny. Hey, let me see it, huh? Come on, Stephen, let me see it. What are you going to do? Make the law on your own hands. Now, what about the lineup, huh? What about Obi? Oh, Kirk? Sit down. No, I ain't going to sit down. I got something to take care of. Oh, we got something to take care of. That's Monday, 10 p.m. at Coney. Now, you listen. Kid. No, you and your partner, you be there. That's Monday, 10 p.m. at Coney. I got a debt, and you're going to help me settle it. Hey, Danny! Who did that? You know who did that? King. King 65. Yeah, that's got to be the king. Are you sure? That's to be sure. Yeah, yeah. Sure? You can tell by his style. Where does this king live? I don't know. But you can find out, can't you? Yeah. Real strong. After eight hours, you wake him up, give him another dose. And then again, eight hours later. Well, what if he's busy or something? What if he turns me down? He won't. You can do it, T. I hope you can. You sure about this stuff? Where'd you get it? I got it. Danny, what if something goes wrong? What if I kill him? It would be a pleasure, sweet thing. No problem at all. We'll land in your street momentarily. Yeah, okay. Cha. We'll meet the girl on Bushwick. Then you find Obi and send him to our friend, the painter, the king. King gonna be dethroned. For $280, give me the name of the person who was commander in chief of the United States during World War I. Abraham Lincoln. Commander in chief of World War I. Come on, Turkey Abraham Lincoln. Woodrow Wilson! For $280, Woodrow Wilson! Woodrow Wilson? Who is Woodrow Wilson? Have you ever heard of any Woodrow Wilson? Nah, no, never heard of no Wilson. Some job question that was. You can tell us her name and you win an Oscar, you'll win the prize. Yeah, the friends of my father from work. And they got the money. They already got it? One of them had a wife die. He got some insurance money. Got his old lady to pop for a score. Now that's a dude that knows a dick shit. And they asked me if you could handle quantity. I told them you could do anything. I like gratitude, my woman. I like it very much. And I remember you said Monday was your birthday, right? So true. But this being only Saturday, we still have time. Did you want me to set it up? Sunday night. Lord rested and Kirk did his last deed. <laughs> Maybe we should celebrate. A little party before the drop. Quiet. Private. Just you and me. Alone? Well, not around all your friends. It's a motel, okay? Forgive my impoliteness, pity eyes. Since when you've been spreading it around? 
You didn't have the thought of love the first time you and me talk. Well, fine. We'll do the drop. No party. Wait, now hold on. Don't get out of orbit. Look, I told you, I'm no whore. Now, what'd I say? Didn't I say I was honored? No, you said... Sure I did. Just come around, that's all. I mean, I know I'm worthy. I just didn't realize you knew it so well, too. Hey, you know who was chief during the war? Willwood. Willwood was chief. <laughs> and I didn't even go to school. <laughs> When do you turn 16, Teresa? Six months. Oh. Well, here's what I think. Day after tomorrow, Kirk joins the ranks of tax-paying adults. And you and I will talk. Make a lot of money in six months, Teresa. Mr. Gavin, if you'd like to know, I find out who he faced our properties and where he lives. We've got little Obi waiting to greet him right now. Kirk? This is a punk subway rider. Local punk. Big Shot calls himself King. King 65. Kirk, shut up. Be with King like I did the cop. Shut up. Place else but here. I'm going with you, Danny. Do you want me to? I don't want to go alone. I love you, Teresa. someone else. Don't that mean nothing to you? Now, do you mind listening to me? Tonight, 10 o'clock, Pony Island, in front of the big hot dog stand. You be there, Obadiah. I need a little backup. I want you there by 9, and you wait until I get there. You hear me? You be there. Be there.
Danny, where is it then? Why weren't you home last night? Got a surprise for you. Close your eyes, huh? Come on, close it. What's this? It's a man. Offered me a job. Uh, everything's crazy. I, I didn't even know I was coming here. Some would say a, a lot of steam helps you keep looking young. Oh, sure. Look at the walking proof. I just want you to know that I know it ain't ever been easy for you. And I, I know it's always been hard. You've always worked hard. What's wrong, Dad? You worked hard and, and you raised a kid. I wanted to tell you that I tell you that I love you. And I'm gonna be okay. Don't have to worry about me because I ain't gonna let you down. I love you, Dad. What's up, mommy? How you doing? You're looking fine. <laughs> We're gonna have a good time tonight. It's my <laughs> So, uh, I didn't want my driver hanging around while you and me had our party, you know what I mean? Sure. So I'm gonna be driving myself. Now, legally, I'm not old enough to be driving. I'm gonna be very cool, you know? <laughs> I sure hate to get a ticket. Let's get in. This must be hundred proof, Mama. Oh, Captain Kurt's feeling. <laughs> Spacey. But you just take it easy, Kurt, because it's your birthday. Well, I'm gonna have a lot of good birthdays, Mama. You know what I mean? Sure. I earned them. I hustled. Some people hate me, you know? But I don't know why. I mean, what did I ever do that I wasn't told I could do? Well, you did right by me, Kurt, and I'm not going to forget it. Well, you're the only one, girl. I don't know. I don't know what anybody expects, you know? I mean, what do they want? You did right, Kurt. The rest easy. Fix me another one. You did that first one real good. I'll mellow out. Then we'll get real close. You think I'll be able to do what Mr. Gavin wants me to do? Let him fall in love. I'm gonna be a boss. Just you on. Girl, run a nap before we party. But you gotta be up for tonight. That's right, girl.
another day. But a young girl like you should be in school. I am in school. Go to sleep. Go to sleep, girl. Time to wake up, Captain. Time to make your last run.
Just walk. Come on, come on, let's take a walk. Day early and a dollar short. I'm underage. Come on, will we go with the family court? No, man. Family court is close to you. Doors are shut. You turn 16 today. Tomorrow. Not till tomorrow. No, today, man. You turned 16 at midnight last night. And I was there to wish you a happy birthday, Kirk. But don't you remember? Yeah. Yeah, sure. You remember. 25th, Kirk. It's September 25th. Let's go. Mr. Gavin's got laws. I'm gonna be alive. Fuck you, man. Evidence is evidence, Kirk. Yo, come on, give me a break, man. Yeah, this time you're gonna be in with the animals. Yo, come on, man. Well, you're gonna have to have a talk about Mr. Gavin, yeah. won't we? Yo, Just you and me, fam, won't we? Come on, man. You have a little talk. Yo, come on, man. I hope you help me, man. Come on, please, come on, man. Come on. Give me a break, man. Yo, come on, come on, man. Please, come on, man, come on. I gotta take you kids down to the station. I'm afraid I gotta hear how you did all this. Yeah, well, just as long as we get some sleep pretty soon, huh? Well, I'll tell you the truth, that where you live is not gonna be safe for a while. Well, I mean, not for you. Yeah, that's okay. We're already out of there. What do you mean, now? Where are you gonna go? Man, the surprise is... Manhattan is as far as I've ever gone. It's far enough. I'm an apprentice. Easy, easy. It's all over. It's all over. 